Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Leanne Keneally, and I'm a medical doctor, because then I always say that, because patients always uh, want to know, are you a real doctor, or like a medical doctor, or what kind of doctor? Because there's naturopathic doctors, and there's PhD doctors, and there's doctors of acupuncturists, and you know, all kinds of different people. Even a, uh, an attorney is called a JD, a jurist, a doctor. So it, pardon me? Right, exactly. So anyway, uh, I'm a medical doctor, and I've been interested in a, um, a kind of integrative approach to taking care of a patient as opposed to just a conventional treatment and diagnosis of, of a patient. And I believe that um, there are many, many different aspects of a person that you have to uh, talk about, examine, investigate in order to figure out each person's treatment and even their diagnosis. And things aren't always as crystal clear as they, they appear. And I believe that the patient is the most important resource of information to tell me what's wrong with them. Um, there is a tremendous amount of information out there on hormone replacement therapy. And so, um, People say, oh, you don't need that, you don't need vitamins, you don't need uh, hormones. Um, we all wouldn't be here sitting up today if we didn't have hormones. So tonight, how do you really feel? How are you feeling today? Do you feel great? Do you feel like you just want to go and tackle the day and you just can handle all the stress that you have? Do you feel that way? How, how many people feel wonderful today? Oh, that's pretty good. We have a few people. That's wonderful. And, and that's the way you should feel, whether you are 20 or 80. That's the way you should feel. You should feel great physically, mentally, spiritually, and feel like your body's in balance. And if you don't have hormones, and I, of course, feeling good is not just about hormones. I, I, I really want to make that clear. That is just... Uh, one part of feeling great, and that's just one significant aspect of, of, of your body. Um, you've got to, I tell people, you basically need four things to survive, and this is very simple. You need oxygen. If we all don't have oxygen, we die within, what, four and a half minutes, right? So we need lots of oxygen. You need water. You will die if you do not have water in th within three days. So your body needs water, and if you're not drinking the amount of water you should drink, which is about half your body weight in ounces, then uh, your, your body is dying. And your body can handle this extreme dehydration, but there are consequences to be paid for uh, not drinking enough water. Um, your body needs nutrients. Your whole body is made up of all kinds of vitamins and minerals in order for it to work. And don't let any doctor tell you that you don't need to take vitamins and you don't need vitamins. Because the inadequacy of our food today, uh, our soils are depleted, our water is toxic, and our air is toxic. So the nutrients that you get in an apple today, you'd need to eat 50 apples today, what an apple 50 years ago had. So you absolutely, you know, it's supplements are not supplementary anymore. They're absolutely an essential for survival of your body and how it works. If you're deficient in one nutrient, zinc, we can create cancer. So just deficient in one nutrient. So they're, uh, they're very, very, very important. Um, and then you need hormones. Again, if you didn't have hormones and you don't have hormones, you will die. And I will talk about some specifics about how you feel when you have deficiencies in certain hormones. Um, and when do hormonal problems take place? They're not just at 40 or 50 or 60 or 70. They can be at any time. And children today and young adults today, because I see it unfortunately on a regular basis now, are having significant hormonal imbalances. Um, I know most of the people here today are not 20, year, 20 years old, but I am seeing more younger people today that have hormonal problems. And why is that? The reason is, is we're living in a very unusual world with 
chronic infections, people's immune systems aren't good. Well, if your immune system isn't good, your endocrine glands don't work well. Um, there's lots of toxins. There's, uh, there were, there's 75,000 different chemicals allowed in the environment in 1920. There were very, very few chemicals allowed. Uh, there are, uh, we have probably more chronic stress. We have electromagnetic fields that are affecting us. Many different external factors that are affecting our physiological normal balance and homeostasis. Um, so why do I do this? Well, I really like people to know what is really is happening with their minds and bodies. People have, are, have so much, there's so much information out there and people I think uh, are, are really don't understand and comprehend what is going on out there because the newspapers, the media, magazines, they don't always tell you the full picture. And when I read them, I always go, gosh, that's, that's a really, really um, cynical picture, negative picture, or an inadequate, inappropriate uh, assessment of, of different situations. So I hope tonight I can clear up and elucidate some information for everyone. And it's all about feeling great, because if you feel good, you're going to make someone else feel good, and you're going to make the planet a better place to live. Um, this is another thing. I'm, I'm not a researcher. I am a researcher with my patients, because I always love to do experiments. Um, and if I have a willing patient, as long as there's no downside, I do experiments. Um, and if they don't work, we don't use them. Um, every individual is an original. And there is an optimal hormonal balance that's right for each person. And we need to investigate the causes of problems and treat individuals, not diseases or diseases. And unfortunately, our conventional medical paradigm is to treat dis-ease and diseases. So what are we going to talk about? How hormones change with age? The 15 major hormones, of course, we won't, won't be able to cover every single hormone. Um, how to balance your hormones. Why would you use natural hormones? Listening to your body. How does your body feel? Everybody wants more energy. Everybody wants to know how to handle with stress. People want to sleep better. Um, your weight, your memory, uh, your physical well-being, and, and the anti-aging effects are basically the youth maintenance effects of what, what hormones do. Um, as we age, our bodies rarely have the optimum levels of hormones. Uh, what happens if you have low hormones? Well, you have memory loss. You can't think as well. You have foggy brain. You can't concentrate. You have gray hair. You have wrinkles. You have arthritis. You have heart disease. You have reduced sex drive. Your digestive system isn't working as well. Uh, your immune system isn't working as well. This is what happens. This is melatonin. Melatonin, you probably have heard of it. It helps with our sleep. And you can see uh, in the graph that the, the level of melatonin at night uh, declines significantly with age. When do people have sleep disorders? Usually starting around 40 years of age. So melatonin, if you need it. I, again, I qualify that because just because it may not necessarily decline with age for you, but it may more dramatically for somebody else. Again, every individual is an original, and what everybody's chemical hormonal makeup is unique to them. Here's growth hormone. What happens um, at, with age? You can see the level at, uh, at, a, at 30 years of age, and it dramatically declines. Things that, the key age is around 40, give or take five years. Um, here's the level of TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. And your thyroid stimulating hormone is what is made by the pituitary that tells me if you're taking, if you have too much thyroid or too little thyroid. Most people have usually lower thyroid, but you can see how that changes. Here are the names of the 15 major hormones. We have ACTH. Some of these you may have heard of and some of these you may not have heard of. ACTH is a shortened form for adrenocorticotrophic hormone, so it's better to go by ACTH. <laughs> Aldosterone, calcitonin, cortisol, DHEA, EPO, you probably have heard of that with the sports athletes, um, erythropoietin, <laughs> estrogen, growth hormone, insulin, melatonin.